some shit here. That's the real shit here. I'm to get some shit here. That's the real shit here. Hey, please stand up. Please stand up. Please stand up. That's the real shit here. That's the real shit here. Because all right yo you already know what time it is it's time for mother fucking block yo i can't even do it the way i normally do it because my voice is gone because of my birthday damn son but <clears throat> what I wanted to say to y'all, yo, is I just came across this video where it was showing Bobby Schmurder, right? He's basically saying how he grew up on Eminem. And the reason why I'm making this video is because I, I encourage people, stop listening to the internet, yo. The internet and these people who just put out false narratives and just throw things out, most of the time it's for an agenda and it's just to serve their own purposes. It's not based off of facts and any truth. They're just doing it because they're like, well, I got to get this little agenda I'm trying to do across. So let me push this out and it will be complete bullshit. When I was telling y'all like, bro, you people in the hood grew up on 50 Cent. I mean, Eminem. I had mad friends in the hood. I used to uh, record all the times in the hood. Like I live in Queens, it's right in the hood, basically. So like, none of my friends used to listen to Eminem, bro. And it's the hood. So that's why I say like, yo, a lot of narratives be bullshit, bro. Do not believe it. So when you be hearing stuff about me, like whether it's certain things and I tell you, bro, this is like a smear campaign or something more. This is motherfuckers trying to uh, just put out some bullshit narratives on me. It's because this shit is true. And I'm trying to let y'all know how fake it is, bro. Not that the actual narrative about me is true, but the shit that they're saying is is, is false. And what I'm telling you is true. If I do some, some dickhead shit and it gets put out there, I'm gonna be the first one to let you know. Like, yo, I did some clown shit. That 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 that's actually true. I shouldn't have did that. But with the whole Eminem narrative, uh, them saying like, oh, he ain't listening to no. Uh, I mean, people didn't grow up listening to Eminem. That's in the hood. I was trying to tell y'all that shit is 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 bogus. It's false. You know what I'm saying? At the time, you had uh, what's his name? Uh, oh, Lord Jamar. He had a certain agenda because he was getting a lot of traction off of using Eminem's name. So the agenda, what he was trying to do, he was trying to target, you know, the the, the black audience to get on his side and be like, yeah, this is how I'm going to push this narrative. And then boom, that's how he was spinning it. That's what I told y'all in the diss song. You heard how I said he's trying to divide and be divisive. Bro, I be, I be mad keen and on this shit because I know how this world be working and how motherfuckers is always trying to like do certain things to get people against each other. It, 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 a lot of it be bullshit on the internet, but that's just my little quick little blog for y'all today. Uh, one person sent um, the, the, the bread for the, the battle shit. So I need one more person if y'all want this shit to happen. Y'all already know the cash app is uh, dollar sign Grizzy Hendrix. And yeah, send send another 75 and we'll get this shit started. Uh, you could tell Michelle show because he wanted it. But uh, all right, I'm out. <laughs>